Well, the 116th Congress is now underway. There are some new members, and it is a diverse group. House members and senators were sworn in today, and that includes two new Colorado representatives from Colorado. Democrat Joe Neguse from Boulder tweeting out some pics from his new office. And also Democrat Jason Crow of Colorado's 6th District had his family present for his swearing in. Now, Crow kept a campaign promise not to vote for Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House. Crow was the only House Democrat from Colorado to vote against Pelosi's nomination today. Instead, he cast his vote for Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois. Still, Pelosi won easily. This is her second stint as Speaker. Lawmaker from California previously served as Speaker of the House from 2007 to 2011. Republican Kevin McCarthy, also of California, was elected Minority House Leader. Well, the new term comes as the federal government remains shut down. Political Specialist Sean Boyd here now. And Sean, you got to speak with freshman Congressman Joe Neguse today. You know, Representative Joe Neguse is the first African-American and second youngest person elected to Congress from Colorado, and he is already gaining prominence. He's one of two freshmen who was uh, chosen for a leadership post. He was also chosen to deliver Democrats' weekly radio address last week. Today, I spoke with him about the latest dust-up over the government shutdown. I am hopeful, uh, you know, of course, uh, perhaps a bit young and naive. So Congressman Joe Neguse represents a district hard hit by the shutdown. It includes the federal labs in Boulder and Rocky Mountain National Park. He called the president's bluff to veto any spending bills that don't include $5 billion for a border wall. I think it, nonetheless it's incumbent upon us to, to send them his way, put them on his desk, uh, and I would again hope that cooler heads prevail in the White House. But Senate right. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he won't put bills on the floor unless the president agrees to sign them. Colorado's Republican Senator Cory Gardner says reopening the government should come first. Let's just get this open and have a standalone debate on border security. But Gardner says Democrats are being disingenuous. Uh, just several months ago, six months ago, uh, Democrats supported $25 billion of border security. Now they don't even want one-fifth of that. And I told the president that he should move forward on accepting a, a package that would open the government. Let the debate be about border security, because if the American people see that people have backed away from uh, an agreement that they had made just six months ago, I think they'll see right through that. I disagree vehemently uh, that a wall is the right approach. I think it's intellectually dishonest. I think it's ineffective. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, and again, in my view, you know, morally outrageous. Now, the Democratic House is expected to pass bills tonight to fund every government agency but Homeland Security for nine months. Homeland Security in charge of border security would only be funded for one month. Again, those bills are non-starters in the Senate. So new Congress, same old gridlock. Karen. <laughs> All right, Sean, thank you. No